Marley. Stephen asleep? Uh, just. Where have you been? I've been trying to call you. I know you're going to get mad when I tell you this, but don't, okay? Because it didn't happen anyway. What, what didn't happen? Why are you like this? What didn't happen was Jamie and me eloping. <laughs> what? What do you mean, why am I acting like this? Jamie talked you into eloping? No, actually, it was my idea. But it didn't happen. Rachel got sick, and so we had to come back. Anyway, don't be mad that I didn't tell you. I, I, I'm not mad, okay? <laughs> okay. Just a little surprised. At what? You, uh, talking about eloping. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were turning into me. Sorry for the inconvenience, Mom. It's all right. They teach us this at the hospitals. If we don't disturb our patients at least once a day, well, we really haven't met our responsibilities. You haven't disturbed me at all. It's boring sitting around this bed. Mom, I spoke with Dr. Newton. He was here this afternoon? Yes, he wants me to go to the hospital. I don't see what he can do there that he can't do here. How's your vision right now? I can make you out. But I have periods when I can't see at all. Well, there's something we might be able to do. That uh, Dr. Newton hasn't been able to do? He wanted us to talk to you about it first. About what? It's an experimental procedure. Could repair the damage to your optic nerve, maybe restore the vision to your eyes, maybe all of the vision. Well, that's great. Sign me up. No, it's not that easy. There's a catch to it, huh? That's why you haven't told me about it? The reason this procedure is experimental is it presents enormous surgical risk. You saw a woman sitting in a car at the end of our drive. I said I thought it was a woman. Well, you don't know? I didn't pay any attention. Where exactly was the car, Donna? Donna, where was the damn car? What does it matter? Oh, Donna, don't you get it? Taylor Benson could be out there right now. Right, I accept the risk. I, I want the surgery. Mom. You don't know what it's like not to be able to use your eyes. No, I don't. No one can know that the way that you do. I can see somewhat now, but I never know when it's going to go out again. I don't... I don't want to live like that. I'd rather take the risk. The risk is that you could be rendered permanently blind. That's quite a choice. We had to know if you were interested, Rachel. I am interested. Then John and I will confer with Dr. Newton and make a recommendation. I have to know everything about this. We will tell you everything, I promise. Look, I've got to run. Um, can I use a phone? Yeah. Yeah, there's uh, one downstairs in the library. It'll give you more privacy. All right. So long. So long, John. Thanks, John. So, is this um, laser surgery or just regular surgery? Can you wait for all that? No, I can't wait. I have to know everything. If you don't tell me, I'll get the magazine uh, to look Mom, it up I'll for explain me. it all. But we need to make sure that you're a good candidate for this procedure. This gives me some hope, doesn't it? Mom, I'll take care of you, I promise. But you have to listen to what I say to you, okay? That's the hard part. I know. I'm, uh, I'm sorry that you had to come back from running off with Marley. Don't you worry about it. We're gonna have our wedding as planned, and you'll be there. Yeah, of course I will. Mom. So, how did you get Marley to run off with you? I didn't. It was all her idea. Really? Doesn't sound like Marley. I know. But these last few days, Marley is full of surprises. Vicky, I haven't changed a bit. Talking the guy you love into eloping. Come on, that's my style. 
You don't have a monopoly on being in love and wanting to be married. You did it right after you got so nuts about Jamie and Paulina. Now, that is definitely my kind of move. I was not nuts, and Paulina is not a problem. I'm gonna go take a peek at Stephen. He's so adorable when he's sleeping. <gasps> Stop right there. I promise I won't wake him up. The fertility treatment worked, right? You're pregnant already, you little devil. No. That's not it. I'm sorry. I really wish everyone would stop harping on this. Who's harping? I'm not even seeing Dr. Hadley anymore. Why not? He wanted to take me off my new medication. He said he wanted to put me on some conventional drug, and I told him I've already done all that. Uh, wait, wait a minute. Back up. Uh, why did he take you off your new medication? He said he was worried about side effects. What side effects? That's just it. There aren't any. Marley, this guy's a doctor. I mean, I mean, he didn't just pull this out of his hat. I'm the one taking the pills, okay? But not anymore, right? Marley. I found out I could get the medication other places. You're still taking this stuff after Hadley told you not to? Come on, what are you, out of your mind? I should have known you wouldn't understand. Marley, come on. I mean, how could you? You have a beautiful child asleep in the next room. Okay. Okay. We can't have spent all that time in Switzerland for nothing. I have to be able to get pregnant. I'm going to lose Jamie if I can't. I know it. John, John, uh, were you upstairs with Rachel? Yeah, Jamie's still up there now. Oh, oh. you're here to see her too? Uh, yeah, if it's okay. As long as it's not business, I don't think. No, she's no, up no, there. it's not. Well, then, not sure, business. go ahead. Great, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. um, by the way, is there anything that I should know? Well, she has drops in her eyes, so keep the lights low. And no matter what she says, she's very apprehensive. Uh, is she going to be all right? I don't know. She's been through so much already. Sometimes the people that are given this stuff are best equipped to handle it. Well, she shouldn't have to handle it, John. Sorry. You and Rachel are a little uh, closer than you used to be, aren't you? I spent my life with a woman who would go into a tailspin when she broke her fingernail. So, um, <laughs> why don't we just say that I admire Rachel a lot? Damn it. Aren't we talking a little bit more than admiration? Maybe. You'd be good for Rachel. Well, you would know about having someone good for you in your life. Yes, I would. I haven't seen that woman in about 12 hours, nor my son, so I'm going to go and give them a call. Go, 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 go. I go, will. Go. Oh, listen, uh, when you see her, try not to let on how worried you are, okay? I'll, I'll take good care of her. I'll do what's right for Rachel. Yeah, I believe you will. Why would someone sit in our driveway, Donna? Charlene. Taylor is dead. Her body was never found. But she was shot. She fell in the lake. Who could survive that? Taylor could survive that. I know what you went through. It's what I'm going through, Donna. Okay. Things have started happening again. What kind of things? I got this letter from... Taylor, when? Last week. And she said she wasn't through with me. Charlene, there's got to be some logical explanation. Oh, yeah, there is. There is. The hotel where she'd been staying forwarded this. They said a maid found it under a bed somewhere and something like that. And it could have been written before she... before her accident. Well, of course it was. But, Donna, I'm telling you, you, you don't know... You, Reading this handwriting again, seeing it, reading all that I sickness. I know. I know how horrible it must have been. And, and I I'm getting phone calls too. Three or four times a day, I answer the phone. The person hangs up. 
And it's always when John is gone. But that could be any crazy And now car. you say you've seen someone watching the house. I didn't say that. I said I saw a car in the driveway with someone in it. They were probably lost. <laughs> don't be so dumb. I don't. I think the person knew exactly where she was. She's come back. Charlene, you're making yourself crazy. No, oh, Donna. Don't ever say that to me. I know what's real. I'm sorry. And I know what isn't. I'm I learned the hard way, okay? Then let's, let's let the police handle it. I called Ryan. He hasn't gotten back to me yet. Well, he'll get back to me. You just calm down. Relax. Hello. I'd like to speak with Detective Ryan Harrison, please. Then why don't you go find him and tell him to call Donna Hut Donna Hudson immediately. It's an emergency. Thank you. All right, yes. Please, I'm at the home of John and Charlene Hudson. He has the number. Thank you very much. All right, that ought to do it. I thank you for that. Hope you feel better. Donna, this isn't about making me feel better. I'm fine. Taylor is the lunatic, and she is still out there. All right, but we're handling it. You still don't believe me, do you? That's right, Angela. I want Signora Hudson to join me here as soon as she comes home. Comprende? Excelente. The fair Porsche has returned. The quality of mercy is not. How are you this evening? Well, I can't remember feeling better. Would you uh, care for some champers? No, thank you. Oh, come on, have a glass of bubbly to celebrate our victory over totalitarianism. I'm meeting with someone. Ah, oh, your chum down at police headquarters. His name is Billy Cooper. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, indeed. Captain Billy. Well, if you've not come to join me in a celebratory drink, to what do I owe this unexpected visit? I've come to give you this. A mash note so soon in the relationship? Hardly. It's my bill. Well, I've, um, I've decided to keep you on the books. I put you on a monthly retainer. Look, you hired me to do a job. I did it very well for you. The DA didn't make his case, so we won. Nicely, Samuel. But I don't want anything else to do with you. You know, I have such rotten luck with the legal profession. I'd say your luck is terrific. No. I mean, look at this. My lawyer takes up my case, she wins it for me, and then she rides off into the sunset, pausing only to stop by momentarily and pick up a, a very handsome fee. I mean, now, why is that? Maybe it has something to do with the fact that that lawyer would like to be able to live with herself. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, do I smell a whiff of morality in the air? Carl, I took your case because I believe everyone's entitled to a competent defense. Noble. Very lofty. And because I know that a person that nobody likes can be innocent. I am innocent. No, Carl, you were found not guilty. That's different. I don't like clients who hold out on me. Sorry? That last-minute coroner's report about Pete Walker's heart attack being mm. drug-induced? He was the only person that could have put you away. But somebody saw to it that he couldn't do anything to anybody. I'll take cash or certified check. Fine. <laughs> Fine. When you've fulfilled all of your duties. Forget it. Personally, I'm my dear. I prefer to forget you. Good night.
Well, Bay City, time to move on. But not alone, Bay City. Hello, Angela, it's me. I've been detained over here at John and Charlene's. I was wondering if I've gotten any messages. Oh, he did. He doesn't want me to call. He specifically said he wanted to see me. Did Mr. Hutchins say what he wanted? No. All right. Well, I'll take care of it and see you later. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hey, Donna. Oh, so glad you're here. Charlene is a wreck. Still hanging out with Carl, I see. Be quiet, Ryan. You're sounding just like your father. Well, we do agree with each other from now and then. I called you over here about Charlene. Yeah, I got a message, too. What's the problem? She feels... Mm -hmm. She has reason to think she believes that Taylor Benson is alive and after her again. Oh, well, that's a little far-fetched. I know that, but she got a threatening letter from her. What? It was forwarded from a hotel, and it was probably written before Taylor died, but it's upset Charlene terribly. And she's sure that it's Taylor? Yes, she's also been getting phone calls from someone who hangs up every time she answers. Anything else? Tonight when I came in, there was a car parked in the driveway. Someone was in the car appearing to be watching the house. Did you get a good look at the driver? No. Well, there's no car there now. I know. We checked. Donna, all of these occurrences can just be explained away. I know that, but please take this seriously. I'm very worried about Charlene with her history. She's very fragile. Okay, I'll do what I can. Thank you. Um, what about John? Where Has he been here throughout all this? No, she tried to reach him, but apparently he's been called to Rachel Corey's house for a house call. What's wrong with that? Ryan, how many times can a person go blind? If you ask me, it's psychosomatic. You know, Donna, other people do have real problems. I know that. That's why I called you about Charlene. Now, I can't stay another minute. Where are you going? Would you please tell Charlene I had to go? She's upstairs with the baby. Gonna go see Carl? Tell her I'll talk to her in the morning. You can't handle him, Donna. Darling, if there's one thing I can handle, it's men. Bye. You, uh, still gold bricking? Rachel, can you see me? Yes, of course. I see a, a tailored blur. Look, uh, if you're too tired, uh, I can come back Sit with that. Sit down, please. Rachel, would, would you like anything at all? I would, um, I would like you to turn up the light for me, please. Uh, um, look, my brother, the doctor, doesn't think that's a very good idea. I want to be able to use my eyes for as long as I can, all right? I know the drill. I won't look at the light. Rachel. All right. Oh, no, no. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. There. Is that better? Yes. Yeah? Anything else? Yes. Would you open the drapes for me, please? Immediately. Yes. Great. Good. Thanks. Good. You know, I, uh, I saw Amanda and Allie on the way in. She's just incredible. Isn't Allie growing? She's growing like a weed. <laughs> yeah. She's grown a foot this summer, I think. She was very pleased to tell me how she's losing the freckles that she got by being in the sun all summer. Oh, I'm, so I'm sorry. I, look, I, I'm sorry I said anything. I, I, I... It's all right. I was just getting ready to do a drawing of her. Really? Mm. A surprise. It was our secret for Sam and Amanda. We had figured out how we were going to sneak away and, and get some time to work on it. She's very excited about it. She just brought it up to me just a little while ago. I'm sorry. No, no. Rachel, I truly believe that you're going to get your sight back. I know that you and Allie will have your secret. Says you. Yeah, says me. Don't renege on that, I promise. Hey. No way.
Jamie is not going to leave you because you can't have his kid. You look at me differently. Honey, that's in your head. That's just as bad. How's Ryan? What? You're not going to change the subject. Yes, I am. Last time I talked to you, you were furious about his girlfriend coming to town. What happened? I realized, furious as I was, just can't imagine life without the big jerk. <laughs> Maybe we should have a double wedding. Bite your tongue! But I think we might have a future. How does Stephen get along with Ryan? Great. <laughs> Too great. Sometimes I think Ryan wants to have about 50 more kids. What about his job? Have you accepted that? I haven't accepted anything. In fact, I've started dropping hints that we should all just pack up and head off to London or something. And just start fresh. London? I like it there. You know, people are very polite. But you wouldn't take Stephen away from Jamie, would you? From the best daddy and the best aunt in the world? Are you kidding? Hey. Did I show you those pictures I took of Steven at the zoo? No. I'll go get them. I'll be back in a sec. Oh, hi. What are you doing up, huh? I thought you were supposed to be sleeping. Hmm? You sleepy boy? I know you came out here looking for your mommy. I guess sometimes a perfect aunt isn't the best substitute. Boy, do I know that. Bella, what a wonderful surprise. Surprise? Angela said you'd summoned me. Don't pout, love. Wrinkles will form on your mouth. Stop it. Like some bubbly. What do you want? Well, I want us to celebrate my freedom and, of course, my innocence. Carl. Bella. Carl. Yes? I have to talk to you. I'm all ears. I can't see you anymore. What? What? After everything that's been between us? The only thing that's been between us is a sick, unhappy marriage and a sick, unhappy alliance. Yes. Go on. And I'm seeing somebody. Aha. Aha. Well, well, come and tell Daddy all about He's it. He's very possessive, and he doesn't want me to see you at all anymore. And who may this be, this, uh, this cauldron of steaming virility? Spencer. Spencer Sp Harris. Spencer Harris. Oh, God. Carl. <laughs> Carl, stop it! Stop it! Bella, Bella. Bella, you're doing it again, aren't you? I'm doing it again. You're one to talk. You're out there drooling around after Amanda Corey. Now, now that's a situation that you are... You've misinterpreted completely. Have I? Well, Have I? I mean, it may be possible that the daughter of Mac and Rachel Corey is a little bit intrigued by me, perhaps. And, what, and what do you intend to do about it? Well, you know me. I'll come up with something. Spencer Harrison. I love it. Charlene, I looked everywhere. I couldn't see any car. That's okay. I knew you wouldn't. The 
the letter. You know, John and I should have gone to the police when this, this whole thing started. When Taylor first started acting so strangely, and then maybe none of this would have happened. Ryan, I can't go through this again. Taylor's not usually this overt, is she? It is from her, Ryan. I know that. Hey, can I have this? Why? I want to take it to the lab, have it analyzed. Can they figure out how old it is? Well, we can try, but in all likelihood, it was written several months ago. I don't give a damn about likelihood. The woman wanted okay, to kill me. She okay. still wants Shalene, to kill me. Okay. I'm sorry, Ryan, because I, th I, I thought the whole thing was over. Charlene, look, if she's out there, if anyone's out there, we'll find them. Hey, John. You here to see Frankie? No, no, not exactly. Charlene, I'll keep in touch. Is he always so cryptic? I'm glad you're home. So am I. What's wrong? Hmm? A lot of things, John. Like what? I haven't told you because I didn't want it to be true. Well, Charlene, just tell me. Remember when we brought Frankie home from the hospital? And we found the door unlocked, and, uh, and you thought I did it, and I thought you did it. Yeah. Well, since that time, a lot of things have been happening. Um, the main one being that I got a letter from Taylor. You what? John, I've been getting phone calls. They hang up. I have been told by Donna that she saw a woman sitting at the end of the driveway in a car. All this stuff has been happening, and, and you didn't tell I me? I didn't want to tell you, John, because I didn't want it to be true, and I kept thinking that, that all right, it was coincidence. It was just, it was just, ah! no. What? She's out there, John, she's out there. Dr. Hudson, you are Dr. Hudson, right? Yes. I'm with the Harrison for Senator Committee. Are you registered to vote? Uh, excuse me, I'm sorry. I really can't talk right now. I, don't... <laughs> I thought it Charlene. was Taylor and it was. <laughs> That's probably the woman that Donna saw at the end of the driveway. No. No! Charlene, haven't we learned anything? Why didn't you tell me about this? I could have helped. You do help. You help because you believe in me. Donna doesn't believe in me. I don't know what Ryan thinks, but I know you know I'm right. You know she's come back. You know she's come back. Actually, I'm really glad you're here. I need to talk to you about something. I hope you don't have a problem. I can't take another person with a problem tonight. What, what if I did have a problem? I mean, what if, heaven forbid, I needed something from you? You would never do that to Marley. So that's it. What's it? Are you two fighting again? No, we're not. We're getting along just fine. Don't worry, I won't hurt your precious Marley. And I don't know where this is coming from. You never do. Victoria, one day you're going to have another child. And Stephen is going to feel the same sibling rivalry that you're feeling right now. And then you'll understand me. I will never understand you. Just the way Dad couldn't. Have you heard from him lately? No. Are you kidding? You drove him so far away, I hardly even see him. Ever since you lined me up to help you get Stacy away from him. You don't regret that, do you? What I regret is that he's probably telling Rachel we're two of a kind. Well, listen, I know you probably have uh, a lot of things you have to do, a lot of places you have to go. No. As a matter of fact, I don't. Uh, I don't seem to be in too much of a demand these days. I don't believe that at all. Well, it, it's true. As you recall, I did have uh, the time to nearly duke it out with Spencer in your foyer <laughs> downstairs. By the way, I, I just wanted to say that, that I've given it a lot of thought. And even though I apologized, I, I've been thinking, and I, I want you to know that it was all his fault, and I'm completely and totally blameless for anything <laughs> that happened down there. What do you mean you were blameless? You were almost ready to have a pushing contest. Well, he, I, he gets me so mad. I mean, he's a, just a jerk. He was trying to tell me, he was treating you like, like you were another piece of property that, that, that he had a mortgage on. I just, I just, I, I wanted him to go, that's all. Well, look who's being proprietary now. Me. I'm being proprietary. Because Rachel... In case you hadn't noticed, it was 
this is becoming a little bit more than a friendship. I mean, it may just be on my side. I'm afraid I've wrapped myself up in an awful lot of cotton wool emotionally since Ken. Well, I, I can't blame you for that. I was afraid. But I seem to have an awful lot to be afraid of now, and it, it was very nice to hear your voice just now in the door. Rachel, there's nothing to be afraid of. Not from me. I wouldn't hurt you for anything in the whole world. Well, I think it's a terribly cheap shot of you to accuse me of taking your father away from you. Now, if you'll just tell me what's going on. I love you. I want to help you. All right. Look. That's right. Hi. Hi. <laughs> mm. Mm. Mom's here. Hey, Donna. Hello. Listen, I'm going to take care of that matter for John and Charlene. Like, uh, well, thanks for calling me. What? Thank you. And if there's anything I can do, please call me. Well. I love you. Bye, Donna. <laughs> Alone at last. Yeah, this minute and 24 seconds must have just been agony for you. No, it's just, um... Well, you know, after our conversation, I didn't know if you... You know, I mean, our conversation about the future, I didn't mm -hmm. know if you would be coming back. Here I am. Here I am. Here I am. So, I, I guess... I, don't, I, I guess that means... I guess that means I'm gonna kill my mother! What are you doing here? I was told Ryan Harrison is here. Did Carl send you on a mission, Dana? I'm no longer representing Carl. Yeah, whose idea was that? Mine. Well, come on in. I've been talking with Billy. Mm-hmm. I know something. Billy and I have agreed that it's not covered under lawyer-client confidentiality. So what is it? Carl has plans to file suit against you. For what? He plans to charge you with harassment and defamation <sighs> of character. Oh, who could defame that creep? I know. I know, but if I were you, I'd get a really good lawyer and be ready. Well, thanks for the tip. Sure. Good night. What I make of that is that Mr. Hutchins and I are just beginning to get started. Hi. You look great. I missed you. I'm sorry I'm so late. I was with my mother. How is she? She's scared. Her specialist is suggesting a new surgical procedure. Unfortunately, the risks are unbelievable. I don't know how she's going to make that decision. Well, at least she has you to help her. Yeah. I know how frustrating it can be when medical science doesn't have all the answers. I know how disappointed you Jamie, are. Jamie, it was my body, and I was fine. Honey, I saw the workup that Dr. Hadley did. Your hormone levels were just too high, believe me. Do you know how much I love you? Oh, I think I got a pretty good idea. Just think. We would have been married for two whole days. Oh, forget the days. I'm thinking about those two whole nights. 
Can you stay the night? I would love to. I, I, I understand. You have to be with Rachel. Especially with Carl out there. I, I'm worried about Mom. I just came by for a minute. I can stand not seeing you all day. You understand, don't you? Yeah, I understand. I will always understand. Don't you know that? Jimmy, I'd do anything to make you happy. Looking for? Looking for a star you had named after me mm -hmm. on our wedding day. Well, yeah, it's right up there. You ever heard of a star called Charlene? Oh, I did. It's that one. See the one that's blinking? Yep, yeah. That's it. A lot of things have happened since then. Yeah. I hope good old, good old Charlene's looking after us. I'm sure she is, but we have to look out after each other. I love you. Oh, how I love you. Oh, I told Jamie I'd give him a call after I spoke with Dr. Newton. Come on, I'm okay. You sure? Yeah. Where are you, Taylor? Actually, I, I haven't spoken with Dr. Newton. I wanted to talk to you about Charlene. Time to go, Stephen. What's the suitcase for? Vic and I were moving to London. Stephen's going with us. You can't do that. Come on, Stephen. Give your dad a big hug. <laughs> Vicky didn't say anything about this, Ryan. So? She knew. They know everything about each other. No. No, she, she told me she wouldn't do that. my son and I'll never have another one and it's all because of you Jamie 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 <gasps> Alright I'll tell you what I think we do we hire some hotshot lawyer and we have him make mince meat out of Vicky Carl. I am not worried about some stupid lawsuit well you're worried about something honey because you are all not I I had him, Vicky. I had him, and I lost him. You did everything you could. No, I, I, I could have forced Grant to testify. I, I could have... <laughs> okay. I could have... Okay, okay, okay. Let me tell you something about the way I grew up. Mm. You can cover all the angles, and you can work your tail off. And sometimes... Good guys just don't finish first. Now, if you would try and get some sleep, I would be greatly appreciative. Just try, all right? I've been sitting here trying to be grateful for things, you know. For everything that we... We've been so fortunate to have this family. And then I think about Carl being free. Rachel, I've had plenty of sleepless nights over that particular fact. I keep, I keep wondering if maybe now he knows how close he came, you know, to being put behind bars. 
I mean, he'd be a fool, wouldn't he? To do anything to hurt any of us. To come after any one member of my family. Yes. Looking for something near Buenos Aires. Or an estate, I would think. Mm -hmm. Our seclusion and privacy is an absolute must. Well, soon. Well, you know what the ancient Romans used to say, don't you? Carpe diem. Seize the day. No, 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 I really wouldn't worry about the decor. No. No, I think my companion would... will enjoy redoing it. Yes. And she comes from a very good family. Good stock. And her taste is impeccable. Uh, why do you think she chose me? 